Well, it's All-Star Weekend, which means only one thing. We're midway through the season, Mike. And midway through the season, who's taking off with these awards? When I look at the Coach of the Year Jack Adams Trophy, it's coming down for me, John Tortorello, Mike Babcock. How do you see it? Well, I think uh, the Wilds' Bruce Boudreaux has to be in the mix, too. But uh, the interesting thing, Mike, I mean, we were here at the Air Canada Centre for the dumpster fire that was Team USA at the World Cup. Anybody that looked ahead to the NHL season as to who would be the first coach fired, let's face it, it was John Tortorella. Now the guy is the coach of the Eastern All-Stars at the All-Star Game. Um, his Cinderella uh, Blue Jackets uh, just keep winning and winning and winning. 16 game winning streak earlier in the season. Um, I just think it's remarkable how this guy has risen from the ashes like a phoenix. Yeah, and not doing it with a whole lot of talent. When you look at Toronto, it's a bunch of young kids who yep. are on their way to being stars. Let's move on to the Norris Trophy, where Brent Burns is just taking off offensively. Is that going to be enough when we're looking at a guy like Shea Weber in Montreal, who is now playing for a Canadian team, not going unnoticed in Nashville? Is he in that kind of camp where last year we were seeing with Drew Doughty saying, well, it's a travesty this guy hasn't won a Norris Trophy? Is it almost time for us to recognize Shea Weber, and should that even matter? Well, I think the argument last year was more between uh, Doughty and Carlson, Eric Carlson of the Ottawa Senators, and because Carlson had won it before, there was kind of the debate was, well, he has won it versus he hasn't. Brent Burns has never won it, and by the way, I feel like uh, facially, you know, I feel like I should have some more facial hair, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Brent, sorry, Brent Burns, but uh, I just think as good as Shea Weber has played, that Brent Burns has been so good at both sides, at both ends of the ice. And you know what, Mike? It doesn't seem that long ago that the Sharks, under their previous regime, were playing this guy at forward. And now, like, less than three years removed, he's a favorite to win the Norris Trophy. Yeah, if he doesn't get the Norris, at least give him the Selkie in that regard. <laughs> and let's go real quick here, uh, Vezina Trophy. For a while, it seemed like it was Carey Price's to lose, just on based on what he was able to do, bouncing back from the injury last year. Is that still the case? And if it's not Carey Price, who do you got? I'm on the fence with this. I think it's a three three horse race. Uh, Devin Dubnik of the Wild, Bobrovsky. You, you got to look at him very very hard with the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, and obviously Carey Price. I mean, you look at the fact that the Habs didn't make the playoffs a year ago uh, when he was out of their lineup since November. Now he's back in. They're near the top of the East. That's no coincidence. Yeah. Is it possible to win uh, the Hart Trophy but lose the Vezina? <laughs> it, it might be. be. All right, well, we'll see how it shakes up. We still have half a year uh, left to go. For Post Media News, uh, this is Mike Zeisberger. I'm Michael Trakos.